Good evening and welcome. Starting with our big story this hour, Greece has put its armed forces on alert after Turkey sent a survey ship to the disputed area of the Mediterranean Sea. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has warned of a quote-unquote heavy price if a Turkish vessel is attacked in the disputed Mediterranean waters. He also hinted that one incident had already occurred. Listen in. <clears throat> Bak bizim oruç reisimize sakın ha saldırmayın. Eğer oruç reisimize saldıracak olursanız bunun bedelini ağır ödersiniz dedik ve bugün ilk cevabı aldılar. Erdogan did not provide any detail on the suggested attack, but the Greek minister has vowed that the Turkish provocation, quote unquote, will not go unanswered and that the responsibility for any escalation lies with Turkey. According to him, the risk of an accident lurks when so many military assets are gathered in such a contained area. As to the original, the president of the United States, και την ευθύνη σε μια τέτοια περίπτωση θα την έχει εκείνο που προκαλεί τι συνθήκε αυτέ. Παραμένουμε σταθεροί στην προσήλωσή μα στη διεθνή νομιμότητα και στη δύναμη τη διπλωματία να επιλύσει ακόμα και τα πιο σύνθετα ζητήματα. Δεν θα είμαστε ποτέ αυτοί που πρώτοι θα οξύνουμε τα πράγματα. Όμω η αυτοσυγκράτηση είναι μόνο η μία όψη τη ισχύω μα. This morning came as Turkey started surveying for energy resources in an area claimed by both Ankara and Athens. Greece has now sent its naval vessels to the area in response to the Turkish deployment of its own fleet. Earlier, Turkey said that it would not back away from its search activities and that it plans to issue new exploration licenses for the area. Now, this despite the escalating dispute with Greece over drilling rights. Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will be meeting in Vienna today to discuss the tensions in the eastern Mediterranean. Miriam Eladia Atlas, journalist and columnist at the Daily Sabah newspaper, joins us live from Istanbul for more on this. Good evening and thank you for you for being with us. Now, the tensions continue to rise in these disputed waters after the Turkish research ship into this area, flanked, of course, by Navy ships. What is the latest on the tensions there? Uh, well, I think that uh, while looking at the latest tensions, we have to look back a bit uh, two years ago because uh, these tensions are in the Eastern Mediterranean uh, become a, uh, become so obvious after uh, there is a drilling technology of the natural gas uh, in the Mediterranean uh, resources. Uh, so this was something new for the countries, uh, but we don't know how how much is the reserve or uh, the natural gas will be drilled from here, how it, it, it will be beneficial or productive, or it will be enough for the energy resources. But these tensions are much, much more than these tensions. It's always a very cliche, uh, Greek, Greek, uh, uh, Greece and uh, Turkish uh, tensions, both in the agency and in the Mediterranean. It's about uh, sovereignty, it's about continental shelves, it's about uh, maritime zones. Uh, so people think that it's about drilling activity, but drilling activity is, is not is if they are marketable or not, uh, or if it is possible to look at this natural gas. They, these, these issues and the other actors, we don't know its economic value yet, but mm -hmm. there is a political value here, uh, a sovereignty uh, uh, claim. And as we have seen that there is overlapping maritime zones here, which are these zones according to the continental shells used for fishing and traders previously. But when we talk about the natural resources under the sea, so there is, uh, there, there, there is that we need delimitation. Mm. So what, what we have seen here, these delimitation zones, there's a great dispute and there is not a, a international law about it yet. There is no United Nations claims on about the continental shelves of these uh, countries. And Turkey is the country with the longest coastline in the Mediterranean Sea. And so we see Egypt and Greece and Israel uh, have their unilateral declarations about these maritime zones. Mm. But when we look at the maritime zones, we see overlapping maritime zones because you cannot divide the sea like 
you divide the borders in the uh, land. So uh, it's, it's, it's a very complex issue, actually. But the, the latest tensions is not, uh, believe me, about, uh, I believe, it's not about economic value of the natural gas or drilling activity. It's about the sovereignty uh, dispute over agency and uh, in the Mediterranean. And it's, it's a historical dispute between Greece and uh, Turkey. Right. There, there is a tough talk coming from both leaders uh, on this move. Greece saying that they will protect their sovereignty and uh, Turkey saying that there will be repercussions if their research ship is attacked. Exactly. Uh, well, uh, before that, before all of these hot, ta hot tensions, uh, what we have seen that Greece, um, Egypt and Israel uh, made their unilateral declarations about these maritime zones. So what did Turkey do? Turkey acted with uh, somehow Lebanon and but mostly with Libya. They also declared a maritime zone with Libya, which is also the second biggest coastline uh, country. As you will remember, all of the tensions with Russia, France over Libya, why Turkey is intervening to Libya issues and this and that. But before that, uh, we have to remember that these declarations are unilateral. Mm -hmm. So Turkey has, of course, its share, if, of course, its own claim, but there is so-called a unity against Turkey much more, two years ago, these countries coming together, Israel, uh, Egypt, Greece, backed by France, uh, UAE, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, and some other countries, and also uh, completely uh, 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 creating ex exclusive economic zones and excluding Turkey from these economic zones. It's uh, so-called uh, undeclared war against Turkey. So mm. Turkey says that I am here, this is my drilling gig. This is my seismic vessel. This is my uh, drilling uh, ship. I am here. So if you don't uh, act with me, if you do not create a dialogue with me, I will uh, create dialogue with other countries, Libya, Libya in asking for some military help or whatever. So, uh, so Turkey is creating its own uh, declaration about these maritime uh, right. zones or exclusive economic zones. Right. And just quickly before we let you go, Erdogan has hinted uh, today that there has already been some sort of action taken by Greece. What do we know about this? Uh, we, we, we don't know. I don't have details yet. It's uh, according to the Turkish media, as far as I get, there is an, uh, a minor attack and which is responded by the Turkish uh, 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 army there. But uh, I don't know about the details. All right. Thank you very much. Bringing us all the latest there on the tensions between Turkey and Greece.